Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brandon, I'm designer slash gamer. And today we're playing Lego Worlds. So, because there is a new Jurassic World movie coming out soon, I thought it was probably about time for us to go back in and do some work on our Jurassic World. So, I've also been busy off camera. I spent like five hours actually between yesterday and today working on our Jurassic World. And it looks beautiful and we're gonna keep working on it. But first I'm gonna take you guys on, on a little tour of all the cool things I've done. To answer your question, yes. As soon as the stream is over, I will upload the new version of Bricksburg to the website so you guys can download it and check it out today. We're gonna to be here on Wednesdays, just like old times, you guys, for the next month, working on our beautiful Jurassic World. And it should be quite nice at that point, a month later. So yay! All right, guys, welcome. How's it going? Please hit the like button if you guys are enjoying the LEGO World streams. <laughs> Yeah, so tomorrow the new Jurassic World movie releases. So we'll get some inspiration from from that. <laughs> okay, guys, you guys ready? Ready? So unfortunately, the game's been crashing for me kind of frequently. So hopefully that doesn't happen during the stream, but it did crash a few times while I was building. But, it, you know, saves. It's got auto saves, so it's not really that much. It's just kind of an annoyance, really. Okay, here we go. Load game. Slot two, yes. Confirm load, yes. All right. Which one is Bricksburg? This one, I think. Yeah. Here we go. Dun 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 na 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 na. Lego World's more subs. Oh wait, we're already here. I wanted it to be a surprise. No, don't look, you guys, don't look. Oh. Okay, fine, you can look. So, no, I don't want you guys to see it yet. I, I even moved, went to, okay, no, we're going to the rocket. We're going to the rocket. I don't want you guys to see it yet. I want the, I want there to be like a big reveal. Okay, so we are here in downtown Bricksburg. Right? We're, yeah, we're downtown Bricksburg by the Ivory Tower. You guys, Bricksburg is ridiculous how big it is. Think about it. We've got downtown Bricksburg. We have the Halloween land, right? We have Legoland. We have Star Wars World. We have uh, Jurassic World. And then, of course, we also have Ninjago City World. Um, it's huge. And each one of those worlds is ginormous. And downtown, downtown is amazing. All right, so we're here with Max, of course, because Max is our builder. And we're in the downtown area. We're going to head out to Jurassic World, but I think we should ride a raptor to do that. So let's find a raptor. What is this? Coelophysis? How do you spell Coelophysis? There it is. Okay. Here, buddy. Okay, let's hop. Hey, buddy, come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. I'm pressing Q. There we go. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that jump, you guys. Okay, who's ready to go to Jurassic World? I've, it's cool, you guys. It's way different. So if you guys remember before, we had only built an entrance. We built the T-Rex the Kingdom and then the part of Main Street. And I think I put in the volcano and some other things, but it wasn't anywhere near as cool as it is now. So let's go. And we're, oh yeah, Mario World too. Yeah, Super Mario World. Bricksburg is crazy, you guys. This is just, and you guys know, this is a community project. So many of these buildings were contributed by people other than me. Like I made a lot of them, but a lot of other people made a lot of the buildings here as well. So this is a community project. It's amazing. All right, so we're gonna head down to, we're gonna head down to Jurassic World. All right, let's go this way. You're ready? You're super ready? Good. Okay, so you guys remember Jurassic World. So there's Ninjago City over there. Downtown is back that way. Jurassic World is just across this bridge. So let's go. And this bridge was made by the very talented designer, Lego designer, Tia. <gasps> you guys don't look. Don't look at Jurassic World. Don't look. It's right there. Cover your eyes. 
Don't look. <laughs> it's pretty cool, you guys. Okay, so here's the front gate. Now, I believe this was made by Jonathan, right? Didn't you make this front gate, Jonathan? If there's anything here that you guys recognize that you made and I'm, I'm attributing it wrong, then be sure to correct me. And, and then, did who made the dinosaurs at the entry? I forgot who made that. Anyway, so here's the entry. We got beautiful dinosaurs. We got a dinosaur gate. And we have a bunch of cool vineys hanging down and palm trees everywhere. It's very tropical, you guys. Super, super tropical. Hi, Nikki. You're not a good builder? That's okay, Renee. I mean, it's kind of, it's learned, you know? Practice makes perfect, right? I feel like I'm a decent builder, but there are some really, really good builders out there who are way better than me. Okay, we can't go through the gate, you guys. It doesn't open. We're gonna see if we can go around it. Yep, we can go around it. <laughs> Uh oh, are we stuck? Sorry, buddy. There we go. Okay, so now we're inside Jurassic World and the sun's going down and we're gonna start walking. So right in front of us is a cool little waterfall. I need to work on this area because it's not, there's not much that, not much to do in the front entry part yet. I wanna work on it, make it a little bit cooler. Okay, so up here, through here is the T-Rex Kingdom. So if you want, you can head in here and you can check out some T-Rexes. We still have to work on that a little bit more, but it actually looks pretty cool. Oh, look at those cool, like, torchy thingies. Are there any T-Rexes in here? I don't know if we can go in there on a the dinosaur. Oh, yeah, I see one. Oh, I thought I saw one. I'm pretty sure there's some T-Rexes in there. We'll go check them out later. Okay, so down here is where the bulk of the work is that I did. So, if you go down here a little bit, you got Main Street over there to the left, and then over here you have the Raptor Research Facility, right? We're gonna actually hop off this guy. And thankfully, in Sandbox Worlds, you guys, the Raptors will not attack you, and they won't destroy the things you've built. Now, I've been focusing on not using a lot of props because they slow the game down a lot. I'm trying to use mostly just Lego pieces to build with. So these, like all this foliage right here, you guys, these are just palm trees, like sunk into the ground. And they look like nice tropical foliage, right? And then I used these vineys that we used in the Star Wars kingdom, in the Star Wars world, to attach to the vines to make it look really tropical. All right, so uh, this is the Raptor Research Facility. We built this forever ago, but let's go in and check it out. Most of this video is gonna be a tour because I've done a lot of work. But I also have a bunch of things written down here that I want to work on during this stream. So we will build a few things, but there's just so much to show you guys. And I want you to see it all. All right, so this is the Re Raptors Research Facility. Oh, look, there's a scientist in here. Hello! How's it going? Um, What's her name? Faye? Doctor what? Professor C... Professor C... Boron? I know, I can't read that. You guys, let's spin this. Actually, no, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna let it be nighttime because it's really pretty at night. So these are our raptors. They're being researched in here, and we're trying to figure out what they do. Like, what's that guy doing? I don't know what he's doing over there. <laughs> There's some missing computers in here, but it's pretty much the way it was when I built it originally. And if you look up, you can see the beautiful skylight, and you can see the night sky up there. It's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna actually spin the sky because it is a little bit dark. So now this this Jurassic World currently has everything that we built in the Ivory City Jurassic World. So it's everything has been officially moved over. We just have to add new stuff. Okay, let's okay keep keep up the good work. You guys are doing great. Those raptors look like they're being very well studied. Anyway, let's get out of here. Close the door, Max. We don't want any raptors escaping. All right, so back, where, if, well, actually, one already escaped. I don't know where he went. Hey, look, it's, it's, it's uh, from Ninjago. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Lauren says, what are you doing, DSG? Uh, we're touring Jurassic World. I remember when Jurassic Park started in Brooksburg, but now it's amazing from how you progressed. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, it's very different. <laughs> it's very different. I mean, think about it, you guys. What was this? Just like a flat, super flat world? And now we have like more than super flatness. 
And we're gonna we're gonna get up high so you guys can see it from high up too, because it looks really cool from high up. Hey, there's our raptor friend. Hey, buddy. Stay out of trouble. All right, so we have a dinosaur bones right there. We have a nice planter right here that's missing a few plants. And then this is Main Street. So Main Street's pretty cool. We got shops everywhere. We got restaurants. I used a couple of the buildings from Ninjago because I thought they kind of fit for Main Street. You know, like that looks like it could be in Main Street, Jurassic World. This one I'm not too sure about, but it's cool. It's taken up some space. And then we have some buildings here by our friend Moimus. Our friend Moimus made these uh, modular buildings. And to me, they look like they fit perfectly in Jurassic World. So we've added these in to Jurassic World. And then, of course, over here is the other side of Main Street, the back side. You guys, look how cool this is. I made this like tropical foliage here. And you can see Ninjago City back there. And I put these lights in. So at night, it lights up the, the foliage and stuff. It looks really cool. Okay, there's the waterway. Ninjago City is over there. Ivory Tower is back there. And this is the concert hall where Wildstyle performed. Remember that? Her world premiere song? She performed right here on this stage. In the concert hall in Jurassic World. We're going to close that. Close the door, Max! And then over here we have the beautiful arcade. Wow, we made this forever ago, you guys. What, like three years ago? And we have a couple dinos made by our friend Jaeger up here. That dino and that dino. And of course, I made that dino back there. So the arcade is cool of full of arcade machines made by our friend Atomic. He made these arcade machines and then of course the claw machines and stuff. So pretty neat. And then back here we have some uh, restaurant tables. If you want to sit and relax and have dinner or breakfast or whatever here in Jurassic World, you can do that. And you can sit in these chairs and eat some yummy delicious whatever. Pizza? I don't know. And look at that great view you get. You get a view of the whole Jurassic World and also the bridge leading back into the main part of Bricksburg. All right, let me check the comments. Four years ago. Yeah, so that was four years ago that I made the arcade? Really? That long ago? Remember that I asked you about building an aviary? Yes, we are going to build an aviary. I actually have a few plans for it. However, our pterodactyls disappeared. Our pteranodons? They disappeared. So I have to reinstall that mod so I can get our pteranodons back and our uh, triceratops that doesn't move. Or well, it, the triceratops does move, but it like glides. <laughs> so I want, but I want the pteranodons back. So yes, we're gonna build an aviary. Also, we're gonna make this kind of like not just dinosaurs. It's gonna also be a zoo because there's not really enough dinosaurs to really fill up the park with like only dinosaurs. So it's also gonna be a zoo and I've already put in a zoo enclosure in here for snakes and it was made by our friend Super Tippy. So we're going to check that out. Okay, let's hop out of the chair, Max. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot. This is kind of a problem with this table. I guess we're going to have to skydive, but that's okay because then you guys get to see it from above. Look at Jurassic World from above. It's beautiful. Look at that. Still a lot to do, but it is coming along nice. Oh, no. Don't land in the water, Max. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whew. That was close. All right. So there's still a lot to do, but it's coming along really nicely, you guys. I have plans for what I want to put in other parts of the park. Oh, and I also worked on the uh, shark arena. I think it looks great next to Ninjago City. Because Ninjago City is so cool, and it looks really neat next to Jurassic World, I think. And then, of course, you guys know Toppleknot, right? Brick Lab. He made Brick Lab, which is right there. It's a really neat building back here. So it's not part of Jurassic World, but it does look cool next to it. Okay, so what did I make? Oh, yeah. I want to show you guys the stadium, the shark arena. I finally finished that. How do we get in there, though? I think we get in over here. Do we get in right here? Yeah, this is where we go in. Don't get stuck in the revolving doors, Max. All right, so then this is where we go through the security checkpoint. And then how do we get into... Oh, okay. I guess we have to work on that. <laughs> okay, but here's the stadium, you guys. So you can come in here and you can enjoy 
the shark stadium and there's even like a little ladder to get into the water and you can swim with the sharks if you want they're pretty docile they don't attack they're super nice so this is cool we have lights up there you can see them up above the stadium and there's a nice big water area so when i built this in the first uh, Jurassic World, I never finished the stadium seating on either side. It was only on one side. So now, now we've got it on both sides. So you can come out here and enjoy a shark, a shark show. In fact, we should actually train our sharks a little bit. Come here, guys. We're going to do some shark training. Look at Max. <laughs> so epic. Yay. I'm glad you like it. I'm touring Bricksburg with you and you really need to update it. Yeah? Nice. Before you release the Dragon Slayer movie. A trailer. That's not a bad idea. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do that. I actually thought about doing that for the donut conspiracy, but I didn't... I, I ran out of time. But I could do that. No, no promises, though. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, the Bricksburg on the website is pretty updated. It's got Star Wars World, but it does not have the updates to Jurassic World yet. <laughs> so there's not really a lot of space for our sharks to do their shark activities here, but at the very least, they can be sharks and they can do their thing. Maybe we should make their 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 uh, tank a little bit deeper here. Cuz we had a we had a bigger tank. Oh yeah, we had a big water tank this is not a water tank is it we had oh is it water I think it is water okay there's no way for the sharks to access it right now but we did have we did have sharks that would hang out inside the tank in there and they could swim through the hoop so I'll we'll have to fix that but either way we now have a shark tank which is pretty cool. And then I made a little raptor enclosure, you guys, but all the raptors escaped. I don't know how. <laughs> so this is like our raptor staging area, right? And I filled all these cages with raptors. Not a single raptor is left in here. I guess they found their way out. They might must use their little claw hands to like find their way out of the cages because there's not a single raptor in here anymore. No, you guys don't not raptor the seal of physis. Hey Jay, how's it going? Can you oh, I already read that? Okay. Did I miss any comments? I don't think so. Yeah, so it's going to be a zoo. So speaking of uh, speaking of the zoo, all these empty spots you guys are just places I haven't built th things yet. So, there's plans to build stuff in all these empty spaces. But I wanted to focus you guys, I built a mountain. I wanted to focus on adding details and stuff and figuring out where buildings are going to go. So there's a lot of emptiness. So just disregard those things for now because this is all going to be filled with foliage and things. Okay, so our friend... Look at the mountain, you guys. It is insanely hard to build landscapes from scratch. Like, it's really difficult. It's not easy at all to do that. You guys know how difficult it is to build from, like, giant either holes in the ground or, like, extra big mountains. It's not easy at all. So that took a while to build the mountain. But it looks pretty good. All right. So this is our snake snake arena or a snake cage. This is made by our friend Gaming Super Tippy. He actually made a lot of zoo, zoo cages. So we're going to use some of those for our facility here. But he made this really cool snake cage. And I think he made some... Yeah, he made some Lego snakes. Like, that's a snake right there. Look at that. And right here. He even has a little snake mouth. <laughs> so you guys know who Super Tippy is. But if you don't, be sure to check out his channel. I think there's a link in the description of this video. I think these are... I think I have everyone's vi channels linked that contribute to Bricksburg. Hi, little snakey. So we got some regular snakes in here, too. But yeah, so there's going to be enclosures like this in the zoo. And we're going to have a bunch of those. And there's a lot of open area for those kind of enclosures, like out in this area. Lots of open space. And over here we have Mount Saibo, I think. The volcano. Hi, hi, buddy. Is that my raptor that I came in on? Hi, buddy. What's up? 
We got a caveman here. I don't know what he's doing. He's hanging out by the dino bones. So this area is a little bit rough. It needs some work, but at least we have Mount Saibo here. I think I lifted this from the tutorial world. You guys know that third, or is it the second world you go to? With the volcano. This I lifted this directly from that and I added some more lava flows to it. Looks pretty cool at night. All right, and then of course you guys remember the uh, facility that we built in the original Jurassic World near Ivory City. The volcanic, oh, sorry, Max. Sorry, buddy. The volcanic laboratory is right here. I don't know if you can access it. <laughs> sorry, Max. How do you even get in there? I don't think there's a door, you guys. I think you just have to climb up here. I don't think there's anything in here though. Maybe some broken computer equipment. Let's let's spin the sky, you guys, because this is kind of dark. There we go. So this is the volcanic laboratory. Oh, it looks cool through the windows. Look at that. You can see the volcano. And we got scientists in here. Hey, even Dan Brickman. Or Brock Lee, I guess, in our universe. Hi, Brock Lee. Different hair though. And then down here, there's nothing down here, but you guys know in Ivory City, there's actually a whole, there's an entire uh, section of the laboratory down underneath the, underneath this. So we'll have to build that in at some point. Okay, let's get out of here. A lot of times when I build these, I don't put doors in because I use them to film when I film the movies and the episodes and stuff. And it's easier if they can't escape while I'm trying to film, because half the time I'll be film, filming a movie or an episode and they'll, the people, the stars, will just escape and they leave in the middle of filming. <laughs> Alright, so here's the edge of Jurassic World. So it's going to be pretty big, you guys. It goes all the way out this way and then all the way out to the T-Rex kingdom over there. And I might even expand it further. Let's go over here. I might even expand it further so that... Um, so that we have uh, more space to put all the zoo animals and stuff. But we'll see what we have room for. I wanna show you guys the mountain that I built. And then I've got a few things that we can work on. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you an aerial view too. We're gonna hop in like a, something that flies and we'll show you guys an aerial view of Jurassic World so far. All right, so here's the mountain. Here is the mountain, and of course, all this has yet to be developed yet. There's going to be enclosures in here and little areas where you can relax and hang out, um, buy stuff. Like, we'll have stores peppered in and refreshment stands and stuff. But there's the mountain. It's pretty cool, right? Nice big tropical mountain. Took me a while to build that. <laughs> but I think it looks nice. So the aviary, I think we'll put the aviary. Oh, we need more room. I think we're going to expand back this way too, next to the T-Rex kingdom. Back there. And actually, you guys, I haven't finished putting in the finishing touches for T-Rex kingdom either. So I'm going to work on that. But also back in there, We'll have a little pathway to get through and we'll have the aviary, I think, back there. Oh, maybe. Oh. I guess we could put the aviary out here somewhere, but there's not really a lot of space. I'll have to think about that because the aviary obviously has to be pretty big. Okay, you guys, let's hop in a flying thing. Or should we do. No, not the jetpack. Let's. What's the best for you guys to have a good view? The broomstick? Oh, broomstick feels weird though right now because we're not a helicopter. Maybe the agent's helipack? Hello, Ryan. Why WB Productions didn't put a train system in the game as a monorail? That reminds me. Thank you for reminding me. So our friend, was it Jasper that built the monorail? Jasper built a monorail system a modular monorail system for Bricksburg. So I want to put that in Jurassic World too. So we're going to have a monorail. Thanks for reminding me. Are we going to go back to Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga since we finished the game? 
Yes, we didn't finish it yet. Well, we finished the story, but it's not finished. Um, I still have more areas to explore, so Fridays. Fridays, we'll be back in Skywalker Saga, so this Friday. What Bricksburg has mountains, it's flat like Oklahoma. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's not really like the Bricksburg from... From... It's not... It. I think we only named it Bricksburg because it just seemed appropriate, but it's really not anything like the Bricksburg from the Lego movies. Should build a Death Star from Star Wars and Lego Worlds and you have to explore the Death Star. Share it would be amazing. That would be amazing. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I have the abilities, the building abilities to do that. Okay, you guys, let's uh, let's hop in here. We have a mini Death Star in Star Wars World. Star Wars World's amazing, you guys, as you know. Okay, so here we are exploring Jurassic World from above. So let's go see T-Rex Kingdom. T-Rex Kingdom is still a work in progress. There's a lot of missing sections that I'm going to be filling in. But I think we have the landscaping in here started. Yeah, we started it. So the T-Rexes have lots of space to, uh, to live and relax. They can wash their paws down there in the water. It's pretty nice in here, you guys. I had some T-Rexes in here, but I think they all escaped because I didn't fill in the holes. <laughs> so they all escaped. Thankfully, they don't hurt the people. They mind their own business. All right, that's T- Oh, there is a T-Rex here. Hi, buddy. Are you enjoying T-Rex Kingdom? Let's go see if he'll growl at us. Hi, little buddy. Hi. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> you gotta be careful and- Whoa! You gotta be- Did he just push us away? You gotta be careful in uh, adventure mode, you guys, because the T-Rexes will destroy you in like one hit. You are a one hit kill for them. But in sandbox mode, of course, you're perfectly safe. Unless they decide to bat you around. I think he just batted us around. How did you bat us with your little paws? Maybe it was his foot and that like, kicked us. <laughs> Do Animal Crossing 2 from Star Wars and Lego Worlds. Oh wait, do wait, do what? A C A H C H? Oh, like a monorail or a tunnel to Jura to Star Wars World? That could be interesting. Can you build Naboo? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I could build Naboo. SMO. <laughs> I don't know if I could build Naboo. I mean, we're definitely going to keep adding... Look how beautiful Jurassic World is, you guys. We're definitely going to keep adding to Bricksburg because it's such a cool city and there's still a lot of space. I think we probably should build some stuff. This is There's too much, like, undeveloped jungle in here. Some of this needs, like, enclosures and things. We could, we could build, like, pathways through here. That could be really cool. And build some enclosures and stuff. There's a waterway there. Anyway, so that is T-Rex Kingdom. This is our Raptor Research Facility. We got to do some landscaping around here and other enclosures, but it's looking pretty good. And then this is Main Street from above. Got the arcade there. We got the shops here. We got the dino statue here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I hope the game doesn't crash. It was crashing on me earlier. Concert hall. Yeah, it's looking great. And look at the mountain up close. Isn't it huge? Look at that. It's crazy. So basically to build this, you guys, here, I'll show you how I built it in case you want to know for your own games. Because... The alternative to, if you're trying to build a mountain, oh, sorry, Max. If you're trying to build a mountain in this game, it is not easy because the only tool that you really have, let me spin this guy. The only tool that you really have is the raised terrain tool. 
And as you guys know, it's not super effective for building mountains. Because if you try to use the raised terrain tool, where is it? This one. If you try to use this tool, even if you make it really big, that's as big as it gets, right? So all you can do is that. <laughs> Which it is really going to take you forever to try and build a mountain that way. And it's not going to look like a real mountain, you know? So what I did instead, I found some terrain that looked kind of hilly. Oh, it's in the, it's in the Mayan, not Mayan. It's in one of the, um, it's in one of the showcase builds. It's like a temple build or something. And it has, where is it? That, that's it. Jurassic rock formation. And basically it has, it has all of this. I think I deleted those little things sticking out. But I just would put this in the ground and then rotate it and rotate it and rotate it and change the height and just go throughout the whole thing. And that way you get a nice variation. You got to fill in some gaps in some places, but at least you get like a nice, like there's a gap there. But like this, for example, if I want to fill in that gap, all I have to do is this and it fills up, it fills up the gap. And then you can rotate it and you get different sides and different shapes and things. So it's pretty cool. So that's how I built this giant mountain was just doing that everywhere and then painting it. The backside's not done yet though. Look at the backside. <laughs> it's like a giant cliff. There could be something cool we could do back there. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But that's the backside of Jurassic World. The unfinished mountain. But it looks great from this side. All right. So here's what I want to do. I want to see if we can put down a few more enclosures because I think I downloaded Tippy's enclosures, some animal enclosures. Yeah. So there's the snake one. There's the monkey enclosure, a zoo bird enclosure, theme park bumper cars, music express. That's cool. Let's put down the monkey one. We'll find a good spot for it down here. Probably next to this one. Maybe we'll keep the animals that are not dinosaurs in the same area. When am I going to finish Bricksburg? Never. <laughs> Bricksburg will never be done. Never, never, never. And when they come out with a new game like Lego Worlds, we'll be building it all over again. Okay, we can't build it here because we need that space for the, uh, what do you call it? Can I put it over here? We could kind of tuck it into the jungle a little bit, you guys. What if we put it right next? Is that the entrance? We could tuck it into the jungle here. See if we can overlap the sidewalk. Let's start see how that looks. Oops. Got to turn off overlap. Wow, that looks cool against the jungle, you guys. That's beautiful. We'll have to extend the road out a little bit. He even made a little sign right there. Okay, let's put another enclosure in and then we'll build the road out. And then I'm going to put some palm trees in here to decorate it out a little bit. Zoo monkey enclosure. Here, let me just type in zoo because maybe there's a few that are not showing up. Zoo. Oops. Nope. Okay, so this is the bird enclosure. Let's see where we could put this. Oh, wow, that's a cool shape. Look at that. We could put this next to this enclosure and then... Is that the back side? This could be cool because in the front here we could put like a restaurant or something. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Wow. That's beautiful. 
We'll have to put some birds in there. I don't think there's any animals in these. Yeah, then we can make like a little restaurant right there with tables and stuff or some plants and things. All right, what else do we have? Anything else? I think that's probably it for the zoo stuff. But I think Tippy also has downloads for other, like he built a huge zoo. So I think there's more to download. I don't think this would work here because that's this is more like a theme park. That's pretty. I just want to see it really quick. This 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 would be good for our Lego um for Lego Land, our theme park. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, I want to see the music store too. Or is this bumper cars? What is this? Wow, look at that. Music Express. Oh, it's that ride where you ride, where you go like up in those little car thingies. It's neat. Definitely more for our uh, theme park though than it is for Jurassic World. Okay, cool. Let's continue the road out here, you guys. Where is it? Jurassic Road. There it is. I'm going to put the road back in here so we can get the color right on that. Oh, wait. Let me do this. So it lines up. Yeah. Cool. All right. What are you guys saying in the chat? Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Yeah, did you guys notice I changed my profile picture? Our friend Todd made that for me on Discord. So I changed my profile picture to celebrate Pride Month. I don't know where the road's going to go now, you guys, because we're going to have other enclosures. Maybe we'll have the road go to the right? Let's leave the road off for now because I don't know where to put it there. But you know what I do want to make, you guys? I want to make some palm tree planters along here because it looks kind of plain right there. It looks kind of plain. And I want to dress that up a little bit along the edge here. So, yeah. I think that's what we'll do next. But I wanted to check. Our friend Moimus made a ton of objects that could work for Jurassic World. And I want to see if there's anything that could work as a cool... You got, and you know what, you guys, some of this stuff, some of this stuff like these helicopters could easily work for Jurassic World, right? Can't you just picture there being helicopters in Jurassic World? I can. Like, let's put one in. Let's put one in. I would think maybe in the T-Rex kingdom. But we don't go there very often. Let's put it closer to town. I mean, we can also put one in the T-Rex kingdom, but let's put it in town. We'll have it like over here, just like floating above the city, right? <laughs> just floating above Jurassic World, flying through here. Look at that. That's cool. That's amazing. All right, let's go back over here. We're going to add some more details in. Did I miss any questions or comments? Uh, why does your Jurassic, your JW remind me of Jurassic World Evolutions Park? Um, I don't know. I feel like I've definitely been getting some inspiration from Jurassic World Evolution, especially in terms of like, um, building design and stuff. I've been taking some inspiration from that. That could be why. But yeah, speaking of which, thanks for reminding me. So we're playing Jurassic World Evolution on Sundays. So if you guys like Jurassic stuff, you like dinosaurs, come hang out with me on Sundays here on the channel. All right, so here's what I want to do. I think I had something. What was it called?
this. I think this, if we have the right color, could make a cool planter for a palm tree. But it's a little too tall. So we're gonna adjust it and we're gonna put a palm tree planter. And we need to change the color too. I think we'll do a stone, stone color. Yeah, that's better. That's more Jurassic. Okay, but the thing is, this is, I wanna put a palm tree in here and the palm tree is kind of big, so we can't have this part. It could sit in that, but then there we need to have, I think we need a bigger section too. The palm tree could sit on top of. I don't know, maybe the palm tree is too big for this, you guys. It could be too big, let's try it. Let's do actually some dirt on top. Do we have the, there's a two by two round tile. I guess that works. All right, we'll do brown. Just wanna make it look like there's some dirt on top. I think this is gonna be too big, you guys. Let's, let's just see. Palm. Oh, that's too big. <laughs> that's way too big. I want like palm trees and planters. I love that look, but this is too big. This is definitely too big. Yeah, way too big. So either we make a bigger planter or we make a smaller palm tree. <laughs> it's too big though, for sure. Hey, thank you for the uh, donation, A's Game 2.0. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make a Kali and Brock movie 2023, it would be so funny. Yeah? A movie with cauliflower and broccoli. What would that be about though? Other than them, like, fighting over who's the better news anchor. Okay, so that is a cool planter, though. But if we didn't put a palm tree... I mean, I guess we could put one of these, but I don't like using the props. I'm not really a big fan of the props, because they slow down the game a little bit. But... Uh, it's too tall for that, even. Yeah, okay, I'm changing my mind, you guys. It's too tall. It would have to have like flowers in it or something, but it, I think it's too tall for for this. Um, more props. We could do a few props. I just don't want to do too many because they slow everything down. That's too small. There's some really cool looking flowers too, you guys. These Jurassic looking flowers. That looks neat. Okay, fine, we'll just do a couple. Just cause they look so cool. Can we center it? Maybe? Not quite. Yeah, it's kind of neat. All right, we'll just leave that there for now because I'm not sure I want to do any more of those. I don't like using props. All right, let me look at my list, you guys. Oh, so our friend Sven made a crane. And I thought this could be cool to put somewhere, especially since we're still building. This is under construction. It's a beautiful crane, you guys. It seems like it almost makes sense to have it back here. Like this is our construction area where we're making modular units to be put in Jurassic World. So maybe the crane is back here somewhere. I guess it could sit up here on this section of of stone. What do you guys think about that? Like right there? That could be a good spot for it. Just feel like that'll look really cool. 
DSG Brock and Kali plot idea. They found a mysterious anonymous tip about some major news and they fight and they must fight to make the story first and it was fake news <laughs> at the end. That's pretty funny actually. That would happen to them. Todd says, I think Brock and Kali is a better order because then it still makes Broccoli. Also Brock and Kali. Oh yeah. <laughs> the produce the produce pair. <laughs> Should be the title. That's funny. I like that. <laughs> Kali is lost in Bricksburg. It's up to Brock to protect him from Dr. Inferno, Dynamite, and Brad the Bat Monster. <laughs> Link Remastered, what did I miss that you said? Which type of animals would you like to add also? And you probably put a message in earlier than that. I think I missed your earlier message and it already scrolled away. So the only one I still have on screen now is that one. What type of animals would I like to put in here? That's a good question. Let me put this crane down first and then we'll think about it. Oh wait, why did that, did I turn on overlap? I don't want overlap on. Oh wait, or do I? Maybe I do want overlap on. Oh yeah, because then you can see the whole crane footprint. Yeah. That's nice. All right, we got a crane there now. Um, let me actually look at the animals because I'm not sure um, which would be good for, oh, definitely the spiders for sure. So spiders. I don't know about Ultra Caddy. <laughs> Spiders will do the Pteranodons. Alligators, crocodiles, because they're basically dinosaurs, right? Little mini dinosaurs. Ooh, dragons. Dragons are dinosaur adjacent. Maybe the giant troll, just because he's odd, not your typical. I guess what I'm leaning towards is not the typical animal. But then again, I think having regular animals is cool too. You know, like these birds. We should actually put these birds in the in the bird bird place. Rabbits. The rock monsters for sure. Um, scorpions, the black skeleton horse, maybe. Obviously, T-Rex. Yeah, that's. I think that's probably what I would choose. Okay, let's go put some... Actually, now that we're talking about animals, let's go put some birds in there. Where are we? Are we inside the building? Oh, cool. So you guys know our very talented friend, Moimus. He built all of these... Like, this is seriously incredible work. It's just so detailed. That's probably for me, like, one of my difficulties in building is trying to figure out interiors. In Lego, like, trying to figure out <laughs> what the room shape should be and, like, what the interior should be all about. Okay, let's go over here and put some birds in here. Look at the caveman hiding behind our planter. Are you admiring the planter? <laughs> hey, our frame rate got better all of a sudden. That's good. How do we get inside the bird enclosure? Is it accessible anywhere? Is there no trap door? I don't think we can get in there. We could go under it. We'll just take away a roof tile and then put it back in when we leave. All right. That's not what I want. There we go. That's easy. Actually, we should put it back in right now. Oh, sorry, Max. So the birds don't escape. Although I think birds can pretty easily escape, honestly. I think they have no trouble escaping.
There we go. So you guys, I have, I now have LEGO Worlds on my Xbox. This is not Xbox, but I have it on my Xbox. And I think I can visit people's worlds on my Xbox. So if that's something you guys would want to do, and if you've built on the Xbox, let me know. I think you can do it on PC too, but I never really figured out how to do that. Okay, bird. Let's put some owls in here too. Please stay in here. Oh good, you're staying in. <gasps> Yay! The game really does lend itself pretty well to a zoo, you guys, because of all these animals. We got a parrot. I think maybe they're gonna stay in. Let's do an eagle. Ernesto, a crow. And then a seagull. We'll just do one of each and see if they all get along. Should we give them a little birdhouse too, you guys? Let's give them a little birdhouse. There we go. What's up, guys? You guys look great. Are you enjoying your bird place? So dinosaurs are related to birds, you guys. So it kind of makes sense. We have birds in Jurassic World. You can visit people's worlds on PC, just so you know. Yeah, I know I can. I just... <sighs> well, there was an issue. I tried one time and it didn't work right. I think it's a little easier on Xbox, maybe? I don't know, maybe not. Have you seen the trailer for the Lego Movie 3? What? There's a Lego Movie 3? I haven't even heard of that. Eagles eat owls? Oh, great. Uh-oh, I think an owl just escaped. Yep. <laughs> so they're not gonna stay in here. Oh no, he, yeah, he escaped. There was a brown owl up here, and somehow he got out. That is really the only major problem with uh, this game and animals. You really, it's kind of hard to contain them. And that's probably why Tippy built these fake birds in here. Like the fake birds. Because those will stay in here. Unlike the other animals, they will escape. <laughs> Not so easy to keep them contained. Okay, we're gonna skydive. All right, so, um, yeah. Next stream, we will do, I have a couple of buildings that I wanna build. So I'm gonna get the foundations laid out for those buildings and we can work on those in the next stream. And then let me just look at my list here to see what else I wanted to show you guys today. Oh yeah, I wanna see if we can figure out the monorail. That's what I wanna do. Let's try and figure out the monorail situation. So this is the monorail that Jasper built. Do we even have a train for it? Oh wow, look at that. Who made that? Space monorail? I just wanna see what that looks like. Let's put it here and look at it. Wow, that's cool. I mean, you can't ride it, obviously, but it looks cool. All right, so the monorail tracks, there's curves to go each way. Where is our monorail? Can we connect it to our monorail system? There's the monorail system in Bricksburg. Next to Ninjago City. I'm surprised this game still is still letting us build in this city because this is the crazy massive. <laughs> well, we could put a station in, how is this gonna work? I wonder if it'll have to be a separate track system or if we're gonna have to move the track system to go around Jurassic World. Because I don't know if these will work as they are. I 
I think we'll have to adjust the track system so that it can go to Jurassic World and then loop back around. Let's see what it does over here. We never finished Ivory Park? <sighs> Bricksburg is never going to be done. Okay, so what if it came across here? Next to the bridge. This is going to require some major planning, I think. Yeah, this is going to require some serious, serious planning. Because it's going to have to go through buildings and stuff. What? 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 Do you guys see this? Twelve thousand eight hundred subs in two months has finally chance now. He has twelve thousand. Do we have twelve thousand nine hundred? Yeah. Him getting to build a spider cage. You're gonna build a spider cage? Thank you, Link Remastered. So our friend Link Remastered has made a lot of really cool things for Bricksburg. Let's just look at a few of them. A bunch of stuff, and especially for Star Wars Land. Job of the Hut Palace. Lots of cool stuff, you guys. Oh, and you made the fire station too. So it sounds like Link Remastered is going to make something for for uh, Jurassic World. So thank you for that. <laughs> I don't know how that stingray got up there. Where did that even come from? Did the stingray leave the water and just jump up to the helicopter? I don't know, guys. All right. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Let's try and... I've got a whole list of things, but... The problem is not really a lot. It's, I feel like I'm most productive when I'm not streaming because I have to, like, sit and think of what I want to build and what I want to do. This looks great. <laughs> And that usually happens off stream because I can just like sit and just like work. But if I'm also talking, it's kind of hard for me to like, honestly, like figure out what I'm, what I need to do. Look at the Octan Tower. It didn't render fully, but it's huge. Um, anyway, it's kind of hard for me to like keep my thoughts together when I'm streaming and trying to build. But I do want to try to figure out where we could put the monorail. It... It's not very tall, so I don't know if it, it couldn't go over the buildings and it certainly can't go through that jungly area. I mean, technically it could go down the roads because we don't use the roads for cars, but that might look really cluttered to have it going down the roads. Yeah, I like the roads being open. They look nice. I think it would have to go next to, like, it could go there along the edge. Hmm. I'll have to think about that, you guys. Because I don't know where we could put this. Bye, Link. See you next stream. How do you get these builds? Oh yeah, good question. Thanks for answering that, Ryan. So some of them I build, others are built by other people. So it's a combination, it's a combination of things, but you can download this city. If you're on PC, you can download Bricksburg on my website, designer slash gamer.com, um, file sharing, and you can download Bricksburg. And you, if you're on PC, you can drop it into your game saves and then you can save any build you want to from the city. Um, the, my dog is actually not anywhere near me. I think he's upstairs right now. Otherwise I would, I would, uh, show him to you guys, but he is upstairs right now. Where the heck are we going to put the monorail? I want it to be in Jurassic World. I don't want it to be outside of Jurassic World. Nah, we'll think about it. 
We might need a new taller monorail system. Because this one might not be tall enough. But any taller, and it might be too tall. So it's going to require some planning. There is a little space on the sidewalks. Anyway, all right, so what else did I have? Car park. Oh, so you guys remember the very first time I built the Dino Park in Ivory City? <laughs> Nowhere near as cool as this. Very different. But I did want to put that original fence. I saved it. What was it called? What did I call it? Dino Barrier? Yes. I saved it. And so I thought it would be cool to put it somewhere in here just for like old time's sake, but I don't know where to put it and what it would be dividing from. So think about that, you guys. Think about it. Let me know on Discord what your ideas are for Jurassic World because we, we have a lot of areas to develop still and a lot of things to do, but it's really coming along nicely. Hey, there's some space back there too. Maybe the aviary could go back here, you guys. I could clear out a little extra space and we could put the aviary back here. Maybe we'll focus on the aviary next stream. I'll figure out how I want to build it and get all the, I'll get all of the modular parts done ahead of time. And then we can just fit them together on stream. What do you guys think about putting the aviary back here? And then we'll have a pathway that'll come along there. But that could be a good spot for the aviary. What do you guys think about that? Behind the behind the volcano? You guys think that's a good idea? We need a lot of room. I may have to clear out a little more of this and push it back further. So we have more space. But there's a pretty good chunk of land back there. And we don't have any room in here for the aviary because we need more space than this. There is one in... Oh, this. Dinosaur enclosure. We don't have this anywhere in here. I think this is a modified one that came with the game. I would just put like raptors in here, but we know they're going to escape. Because they have escaped, they escaped those cages. <laughs> Is there room for it in this corner? Probably not. No, that would be cool though right there, but there's not enough space for it. Oh, this was the inspiration for the fences. That's right. That was my inspiration for the for the fences along the barrier was this with this thing. Maybe there's room for it next to the Raptor Research Facility. Not really. Hey, we could put a different kind of animal in it other than raptors, since we already have raptors in the research facility. Is there room for it right here? If we get rid of that giant thing, there is. And that would take up some space and then we can fill it in with details. Let's get rid of that. Actually, wait, let me spin the sky because it's dark again. Okay. Let's get rid of this, you guys. We'll put in this raptor facility. When I'm building, usually I just like to put in big big buildings first and then fill in details later because then you can get you can get stuff figured out like where you want things to go it's better than trying to focus too much on on details early on you can add in details later and refine it
feel like the game sounds are kind of loud. So okay, let's put this in. What kind of animal should we put in here? Where is it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Where's the front? Oh, that's the gate to access in the back. This is kind of the front. We'll give it a little more space so we can put it a sidewalk in and stuff. Oops. Yeah, that is super cool. And it matches the the look of our park. I don't remember if that's how it already looked. And I, I think I changed it. I don't think it had the yellow and black. I think I added that to the original model. But I can't remember exactly. Okay, what animal do you guys think would actually stay in there? What should we put in there? I don't know what would even stay in there. And we have to build its interior a little bit too to give it some stuff to do. You're going to build a zoo. Cool. That looks like the thing from Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 from New York City 2099. What does? What animal is not going to escape? We could try putting some rock monsters in there and see if they stay in. We'll have to give them a little environment though. I don't think they're going to stay in though. <laughs> they're going to escape for sure. And do they fight with each other? <laughs> I feel like they're going to fight. So you're going to see more rock monsters in the Lego Dragon, the last Lego Dragon Slayer movie. wonder if they'll stay in here. We need to give them rocks. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Why are you growling? I feel like this is a very underappreciated game, you guys. You think a lion should go in here? I did have a lion actually in in my Jurassic World. This was a lion enclosure, but the lions were always getting out. They were always escaping. What about like a crystal? Those giant crystals? Where are those? Are they in brick builds? Those huge crystal formations? I know you can get them if you throw if you throw a bottle, right? Hang on. We're probably gonna mess up the enclosure though. So you have a bottle. Which one is it? Like these magic potions. And you can throw it. How do you throw it again with F? Like this. <laughs> and you get a giant crystal. What a cool color too, that metallic. <laughs> it looks kind of neat. I just forgot you can do that. Hey, there's our escaped owl. Go back in the avia or in the bird cage, buddy. Could you make a Horizon Zero Dawn little part in Bricksburg? Maybe. That would be like a post apocalyptic place.
what kind of props should we put down there with the rock monsters? I like the way that looks. That looks nice. The colors are pretty too. Maybe we'll paint underneath here purple crystal. That could look cool. That's kind of neat. <laughs> it looks like it's like piercing the ground, right? And there's like a crystal spill of something or other. I kind of like that. I feel like the, we need something else in the ground though. Do we have... Um, like a stone stone floor we could do four patterns try stone we have that one maybe path I forgot what I named stuff <laughs> Mm. Ooh, cobble path. If it's not brown, that could work. Now let's do the stone floor. This one, this is fine. Well, I guess I could just paint it. Oops. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. Oh, this goes into the ground. Oops. Yeah, I think we'd have to paint it. All right. Well, that's good, though, for today, you guys. So next week, we'll work on the aviary. I'll try to figure out a good design for it. I'll try to figure out a nice design for the aviary, and we'll get that. We'll work on that. And then in between... Look at the... Look at the coelophysis. In between now and next week, I will also add some more details to the park, because... I like how we've detailed out this part down here with all the palm trees and stuff. But the rest of the park definitely needs more more work because I want it to look more tropical like this. More lush like a tropical rainforest. And then I'll have to flatten out some of the area. Wow, this looks cool. Look at that. With the with the research facility here in the mountain in the background. Yeah, so it's coming along great. Um, if you have ideas or if you want to build stuff to contribute to Bricksburg, you can do that. You can join Discord and you can contribute your builds to the Bricksburg thread. I'm going to upload this to uh, the website after the stream and you guys can download it. Last Lego Dragon Slayer is going to be the greatest movie of all time. It will be have the greatest battle ever put to film. <laughs> yep, there's going to be some pretty epic dragon battles for sure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a good time, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, LEGO Dimensions. All right, bye, guys. So, there's a bot. Get wood, cobble, and a water bucket. Wood, cobble, and a water bucket. Okay. Do I have an axe? What? Bees! Oh, you did it! You did it! Oh my gosh! We got bees! Hi, little guys! Look at this! So that's everything we can analyze now. Raw science, yes. I kind of want to get back and get some more of those grubs so I can analyze the grubs. Um, Do we have a way to store stuff? Do we have a chest or something, Liam? 
It was big, says Kenzin. Yeah, whatever it was. I don't know what. <gasps> get out! Get out of me! He's breaking the house! Don't go, go, kill me! Someone help! <laughs> right? Welcome. Carrie says, pardon me, I'd like to buy the plot of land advertised out front. The one with the building conditions. She wants to buy a plot of land? Really? Fantastic. How about you just take a seat right over there? Go ahead and give the client the information, Brandon. Uh, Lottie? What information? I don't know what you're talking What are you talking about? Mmm, well ain't you a tall glass of iced tea? Excuse me? I'm talking about the drink. What was that sound? Everybody sleep if you can, it's night time. Why is the kitty on the bed? <gasps> Did you guys see this? The cat's on top of me! And he's purring! That's a thing? I didn't know they did that. Do you see that? It's kind of hard to see, but that's he's, he's laying on me. <laughs> this is great. All right, I'm hoping we'll find some uh, steel down here, or iron rather, because we did buy a bunch of iron from the blacksmith, but it is really, really expensive. I'm trying to hope to mine, trying to find, hope to find some in the mine. <gasps> what the heck is that? <gasps> ah, 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 get out of here! What? Ah. And later, once I'm settled in... Decorate it for the holidays. Yes! Santa! Santa 2020! I vote Santa! Please, Santa! 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 Hey, Todd, light up some fireworks. Santa, Santa. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> no, we really. Okay. I hope they eat their bananas. Eat your bananas, guys. Please eat your bananas. Please. Please eat your bananas. New skill. Feast. Nearly done. What, for everybody? So you can never store all of our MP or HP? Oh. Oh. Oh, the Pop-Tart goes down. Yes, yes, yes. Uh. We really need some, oh, what does this say? I wonder what's in this chest. I wonder what's in this chest. Another chest? Oh, are they going to troll us? Honestly, if this is a troll, this is totally a trolling. Ah, oh. they totally trolled us. I don't know. Okay, there's just something about New Leaf. There's a there's a feeling that I get from New Leaf that I just don't get from New Horizons. This gentle sweetness and warmth is reminiscent of being wrapped in a blanket straight from the dryer. Best feeling ever. Am I right? Comic. <laughs> okay, so basically I jump off and I look that way and I right click once and it takes me a long way, right? Okay, here I go. <gasps> cool. Okay, I'm gonna spin around. How do I spin around like this? 